Welcome back. This is part two of the Heo Karasic algorithm, which means I assume that you've watched part one in which I explained the algorithm. In this video, we are going to implement it in JavaScript. So let's jump right into it. The goal is to build this string matching state machine, and we can do it in two steps. Step one, build a try and prepare the output links. And step two, build the failure links and output links. The try is made out of nodes. So we can create a node class. Each node can have zero, one or more children that we will store in a map. They also have a failure link and that we initialize to null. And each node can represent an output or have one or several output links that we can represent with a set. I'm using a set here to avoid duplication in the case where we would try to insert the same word multiple times. That's pretty much it for nodes. But I've decided to add some methods to help us manipulate children, one for adding an output, and another one to copy the output set of a different node. Now we can build a state machine, so I'm creating this AO currency class. Its constructor will take an array of patterns, and we can start building the try, and once we will be done, we will build the failure links and output links. So we start constructing the try by defining a root node, then we define a variable to hold the node we are currently looking at. Now for each pattern, we iterate over its letter. I store the current letter in a variable. If the current node doesn't have a child for this letter, then we create a new node. So now we know that the current node has a child for this letter, so we update the value of the current node to this node. So at the next iteration, we will keep adding nodes. Then once we've seen all the letters, the current node represents the end of a pattern. So we add this pattern in its output set. And we can move on to the next pattern. So we update the value of current node to point to the root of the try. We are now ready to build the failure links and output links. The failure link of the root points to the root. Now, if you remember, the nodes of depth one have empty proper suffixes. So their failure link leads to the root. So we can iterate over the root's children and set their failure links to the root. To find the failure links of all the nodes, we need to go level by level. And for each node, we need two things. The failure link of its direct parent and the letter that links it to its parent. So the way to do it is whenever we look at a node, we use it to find the failure links of its children. Okay, so to do a level order traversal, we can use a queue. And because we now want to find the failure links of the nodes of depth 2, we need the information of the node of depth 1. So we add the root children to the queue. Now, while the queue isn't empty, we take the first element of the queue and iterate over its children. We add them to the queue and we can now focus on finding their failure links. To do that, we follow the failure link of the parent and see what happens when we read the character key. While no child exists for this character, we follow the failure link until we either find a child or once we reach the root and can't move forward. So we add a condition to exit the loop once we've reached the root. We put this condition after checking that the node n doesn't have a child. So if n is the root, we still look at its children. Once we are out of the loop, it means that we found the target of the failure link. So we set it to be the child of n, or if it's undefined, to the root. The remaining thing to do is to create the output links by copying the output set of its failure link. And that's it. The AO Karasic state machine is now ready to be used. So we can define the search method that takes the text we want to find patterns in as an argument. We define an array to store the positions of the patterns we find in the text. We start at the root and go through each letter of the text. If the current state has a child for this letter, then we move to this state and move on to the next character. But before, if this state corresponds to one or more outputs, we report each one of these outputs by adding their position and value in the found array. Okay. So we covered the case when the current state has a child for the current character in the text. But if that's not the case, then we follow the failure link. Note that we don't update the value of i, because we want to see what happens when we keep reading this letter with different nodes in the try. 
Every time we can't find a child, we take the fellow link and eventually the variable state will contain the root. If the root doesn't have a child for the current letter, then we need to stop and discard this character. So if state is the root, then we move to the next character in the text. Now we can return the found array and we are done. Okay, let's try it with the example of the previous video. We have the patterns it, eating, meat, and in. And the text, I am eating meat. Let's run it. And it looks pretty good to me. We successfully found the patterns in the text. Okay, I think this is enough for the AOCharastic algorithm. However, this implementation is not flawless, especially if you want to deal with Unicode Graphium clusters. I am probably going to talk about this in an upcoming video, in which I plan on using this algorithm in a real-world application. So, I hope it was helpful. Now, if you want to help me, you can subscribe, like, or comment. Anyway, have a good one. Bye.